Hello students, now we are going to discuss about the type of applications, right? So here I have summarized all the countries, whatever the five countries organi organizational structure we have discussed into the previous videos, right? There I have not revealed about the application types, right? So here I have summarized all the five countries which we have discussed like right from the beginning United States, European Union, Australia, Japan and Canada. What is the type of application they are supposed to file, the sponsor supposed to file to their regular bodies for approval different types of drug approval right so let us try to discuss so that uh, it will be easy to remember for you people apart from organizational structure it is given into the syllabus that you need to have the uh, knowledge about the organizational structure as well as the type of applications right so the heading it is type of applications we are going to discuss about the five countries apart from India uh, what are the other uh, countries they are going to have the type of application to file for the approval of the drug the first one is the United States US right so here also A and D A just like us right uh, our, we are having FDA in that also uh, we are going to apply A and D A first word the investigational new drug applications right whenever the particular drug it will show the in a very good result a level of significance and it is up to the mark into the preclinical stage or in vivo or in vitro model so then we are going to file the A and D A uh, uh, INDA so investigational new drug application so that uh, we can check it we can get the approval for the human trial or that is the clinical trial phase 3 study phase 1 phase 2 phase 3 and the phase 4 it is going to so the same way it is going to have into US also the second one is the NDA new drug application once the clinical trial done we have to apply for NDA and uh, uh, then it will be uh, go for like that right ANDA abbreviated new drug applications right uh, I, as I told you that uh, patent expired drug uh, which we have to uh, apply like generic drug and all those things right then uh, uh, apart from these three that another one is the BLA biologic license application that also uh, related to the biological product like vaccine sera and other things uh, uh, we need to have the license for that product manufacturing and marketing for that also we are going to file this BLA right in US right so this is the US story now coming to the European Union what is going to have in European Union European countries whatever the 27 countries it is there like Japan uh, and all those things right uh, sorry uh, Germany uh, uh, Italy and all those so here coming to the MAA marketing authorization application MAA right to uh, to get the marketing license marketing authority we need to file this MAA marketing authorization application then uh, the, apart from that uh, there will be the particular type of applications available in the European Union for example biosimilars there will be the applications uh, generic and hybrid applications will be available then orphan medicine for that also we can file uh, to, to get the approval pediatric medicines for the children for the kid infant whatever the medications it is there approved for that also with separate medi uh, separate application it is available advanced therapy medicinal products also it is available coming to the third country Australia Australia also it is going to have the similar just like a US and India IND investigational new drug or uh, investigational new drug application here new words so it is missing right so investigational new drug application uh, it is going to have in the Australia then NDA will be there new drug application it is going to have then GDA generic drug approval uh, application right just like uh, our uh, abbreviated uh, which we are using here in the uh, we have used abbreviated it is nothing but generic here they are using generic drug approval application that is going to have in Australia coming to the fourth, con fourth country Japan here uh, once again it is going to have the same just like us only right uh, just like US uh, INDA uh, the investigational new drug application then NDA new drug application then ANDA abbreviated new drug application or generic new drug application Third, the fifth one, the Canada. In Canada, the little bit, the, uh, the abbreviation, it is changed, but the, the story is same only, right? NDS means new drug submission, right? So NDA, we are telling application in so most of the country telling application here, submission, NDS. Then SNDS, this is the uh, supplemental new drug submission, right? So in the same way, ANDS, abbreviated new drug submission and uh, SANDS that supplemental abbreviated new drug submission right so it, it is going to become uh, easy to remember uh, when you are studying all the five countries uh, the type of application together you will not be able to confuse and uh, it will be easy to remember uh, for the exam point of view apart from organizational structure this is also you need to mention in your answer thank you